So we wanted to take a common sense approach to this at the same time recognizing that it was a Supreme Court ruling, want to uphold the Constitution, certainly want to be supportive of the Second Amendment, but what was good and what was right for Hawaii. Now we've had a culture for the last 170 years there's not been a gun culture. In fact, before this ruling, you couldn't take guns in public places at all. But we've also had the distinguished good fortune, if you will, to really be uh, among cities that have been affected by gun violence to be at the lowest. So we wanted to preserve that. So we went about it and said, very simply, we'll provide permits for those people who qualify. We went through the whole process of allowing people to apply I believe the chief of police has given out some three dozen at this point. There's more pending, but people have to go through a process. But we've also designated the fact that we don't want to have guns in public places, such as schools and you know government places, churches, parks. Um, but at the same time, we're also saying that people who have personal property, if they want to allow people in there with guns, they can do that. So it's a common sense approach. We're protecting what we've always had. We're being respectful of the Supreme Court ruling. We're even giving the caveat, if you will, that if people have personal property, they can have people come in with guns. But as far as where we're concerned, we want to protect the public, public, public safety is our number one agenda, and that's the way the ruling went.